At a time when women and people of color were all but excluded from the U.S. government, one woman stormed the corridors of power and made them her own. This is the story of Barbara Jordan, the first African-American from the South to serve in Congress and one of the finest legislators in U.S. history. Barbara was born in 1936. Like many states in the South at the time, racist Jim Crow laws in effect since the end of the Civil War kept white and black Texans apart. But at the all-black Texas Southern University, where she studied political science and history, Barbara's gift for public speaking saw her defeat students from the finest colleges in the country to be crowned national debating champion before she graduated in 1956. Her ability to engage and persuade an audience paved the way for a career in public service. When she was 23, Barbara graduated from Boston University School of Law. But after helping to organize a get out and vote program to give African Americans a greater say in the 1960 presidential campaign, she decided that practicing law wasn't enough. She wanted to help change it too. To be honest, her first attempts to get elected to the Texas House of Delegates as a Democrat in 1964 and 66 weren't successful. But Barbara didn't give up, and two years later, became the first African American in almost a century to serve as a state senator. Convincing 30 white male colleagues to back her legislative proposals on employment and voting rights wasn't easy, but Barbara succeeded. And in 1972, she made headlines nationwide when she was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Despite being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1974, she gave the speech of her life live on air during Richard Nixon's impeachment hearing. It re-engaged Americans who had grown disillusioned with politics. And her keynote speech at the Democratic National Convention two years later brought the nation to its feet. In later life, Barbara was confined to a wheelchair, but worked tirelessly to improve the lives of women, racial minorities, and working Americans right up until her death in 1996. She once said, I am neither a black politician nor a woman politician, just a politician. How do you think we should honor Barbara Jordan? <laughs>